Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we're going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin chart here in a week that is going to be brilliant for us traders. Oh, because we have a lot of emotions flowing around the market, we have UK, England going into lockdown, as well as many European countries going into a full lockdown. We have the US elections and we just have amazing volatility on the Bitcoin chart here. And that's why we are here in today's video. We love technical analysis, we love trading, and we love these charts. So let's go straight into them. So to begin with, let's cast our mind back not even 24 hours where we were looking at the, uh, you know, the range that we were looking at where we had the low of the range and we had the high of the range being that monthly. $13,873. That was the video yesterday from 11 a.m. And what we done after this was quite simply perfect. <laughs> we got our move up, move up, move up, move up to top out at 10 past three yesterday at to the exact dollar, $13,873. So that is monthly. Let, let, let's press the button. We hit monthly yesterday to the exact dollar. We hit monthly to the exact dollar on that on that move up. Just so special. So, so, so special. But then that's technical analysis for you. When you've got a good technical analysis, it, it does things to the exact dollar. We hit that to the dollar. We got our move back down to around the low of the range. We come back up for a lower high in the end. And then we've gone lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. And we actually broke down with weakness this morning. Okay, going into London Open. London Open opened with a lot of weakness. And we got our move straight down through love the range. And now that we've got a little bit of our pullback here and we're going for a, well, we're going for a mini range, let's say, going on at the moment. Okay. What, what I can say is, is um, what we were looking at, obviously, at the lower range. So there's a few key levels, I think, for, for resistance that I can give you in this video. Obviously, the monthly, still really key resistance. That's still $13,873. And now the support would imagine has flipped to resistance obviously you can get through this there's, there's you know we can get through this but it's still a level to be aware of now that's obviously thirteen thousand six hundred dollars to around thirteen thousand six hundred and eighty dollars um then that's sort of your in you know local resistance for for today possibly obviously we, we can push through this but just as you can push through support and and support really uh well your value area low okay this is obviously a pretty key support that's coming in at thirteen thousand two hundred and forty that would see a weakness during the day um that, that would see quite a, you know another drop during the day but that, that's your next uh big support there thirteen thousand two hundred and forty dollars being the overall okay really high term time frame value area low and that's obviously a really key level a few things that i would be looking at here is well you obviously you, you you're kind of like a word for this like this level that you're at it's kind of like no man's land because you, you're not quite at support you're not quite at resistance you're kind of like in the middle here so it doesn't really offer the best trades in terms of like a high probability trade. You know, you, you feel as if where you are now, you could just as likely push straight back up to where the day begun or push back down to that, that next support level. It's, it's not really the best swing trade. Let's just say it like that. It's not the best place to enter a swing trade. You want to really wait for the uh, reclaim or, or another drop in my personal opinion again. <laughs> but um, that's kind of what I would be saying. Here you can sculpt. So here there's absolutely sculpt trades to be had. And I have been sculpting in this section. But for, for a swing, I don't really, I feel this is no man's land. It's kind of like, why no, no need to trade right in the middle of the chart here. You know, you wait for it to move to the lower range or you, you wait for it to move back up into the higher, higher range, which would show you a partial decline, which is obviously bullish. Okay, so that's something to bear in mind, ladies and gentlemen. No trade is a trade. So, um, you know, there's no shame in being in no trade because essentially you are sat there waiting or a sign to tell you to either long or short, you know, that's if you didn't take any trade off of that, that was just in that monthly level, really, really, really important resistance. Um, you can, you can see like when you have such a big resistance like that, generally, if the resistance is claimed as support, it's really bullish. Uh, but obviously, you know, step at a time level to level at the moment, it is uh, very much so bearish. Okay. Because it's, it's a big resistance. And then you've got your big support on the flip side down towards the lows. Obviously, that's bringing you down to uh, your, your secondary support would be down there around $12,950. So you have like two intermediate supports, two intermediate resistances, uh, possibly three on each side, really. Um, 
that you, that you can be aware of today. And I think that today you have brilliant trades in Ethereum, Tezos, and Bitcoin. Those are the three that I am day trading today. Um, Bitcoin absolutely scalp trading. And, and Te Tezos and, and Ethereum are interesting charts. I don't want to go over them too much. But obviously, if you watch my ana analysis on Ethereum, uh, we were very much waiting for this uh, with the breakdown of the falling wedge. Because again, everybody views a falling wedge and they think there's a bullish pattern that kind of counter trades what everybody's thinking. You, you fall down out of this falling wedge to the one to one extension. And again, if you remember, you know, I've done an hour long video, one to half an hour long video on this. We're basically pulling the length of this wave back up to the highest wave. So basically we're looking for this ABC pattern and uh, that comes down to the one to one extension. You can see how you hit the one to one extension and you actually got a pretty, pretty big reaction off of it, 5%. Um, and then are we obviously coming back down to this daily level? So, so Ethereum basically where I'm going with this is Ethereum has some good scalp trades. Okay, you can be trading this long and short. The same, same with Tezos in my opinion. Uh, you you come down to an area of value. You have then just retested that support back into resistance, but daily a really key level. I am actually trading both of those charts. So you're aware I'm trading both Ethereum and Tezos and Bitcoin, <laughs> all of it on Bybit. So that's obviously the USDT pair, just so you're aware there. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that's that's about it that I want to do in this video. I just wanted to really quickly upda update you from yesterday's video and the resistance. Uh, we obviously went through the support, so now that has potentially flipped into resistance. If you reclaim it, obviously it's a bit more bullish. Uh, I want to just remind you that we have that really important events occurring in the world. Obviously, we only trade the charts, so we are only going to be trading this from a technical perspective, 100%. Nevertheless, it's interesting, to, you know, you've got to be aware of the US elections, um, and lockdown could potentially have an effect, but, but, but US elections are pretty big. Um, so I'm really, really hyped for this week of trading. I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. I have my plan locked and in place. And this is a plan that I went through in last night's Champions live stream. Uh, so here's a little hint of what I went over in yesterday's stream, looking for that fifth wave. Uh, that's the only hint that I want to give. But basically, we were expecting this drop to the downside. So this is everything thus far is going to plan. I wanted this to drop. It's dropping. Uh, if you want to know my plan of how I am trading Bitcoin, all the orders are preset. Uh, ready and waiting uh, for what this might be. If you want to know the plan that I am doing on how I am going to be swing trading Bitcoin for the week, next two weeks, possibly next next month to come, I have all my plan done in the Champions live stream last night. So if you are interested in following my Bitcoin plan, the the call that I've been given uh, that I've given out on this one as well as all of the educational content where we have obviously been giving educational content on how to read the footprint, how to read EXO, how to, you know, recognize all these patterns, fibs, harmonics, etc. And that's all over at chartchampions.com. Uh, really looking forward again to the week of trading. Hope that you are making money and um, enjoying yourself, I suppose. Just enjoy yourself. This is a good time. Good time to be a trader. While, while most people are in lockdown, we, we can make the most of lockdown because we can just trade all day. So it's brilliant. Uh, so hope you have a brilliant day. Have a brilliant week ahead and um, stay safe, everybody. Thank you so much. Cheers and goodbye. Bye.